So I'm actually having to film this intro at the end of my exploration because there were so many workmen down there as you can probably hear that I just didn't have anywhere to make the intro at the time. But yeah, welcome to this video. This is actually a really cool place. It's an old RAF base. So when you're watching through this video and you start to see that the buildings are very, very trashed, just give the video a chance. There's some cool things in these buildings that I've never seen before, including the first satanic ritual that I've ever seen and a lot of cool rooms along the way. Let's head through the forest and into the many buildings on this site. Let's get on with the video. So I am now in, I have to dodge a few people to get in mine, but I'm, I'm now in, so let's go take a look. Now I'm not entirely sure what this room would have been, but by looking at the sink and everything, I'm guessing it was like a kitchen area. As you can see, this whole centerpiece has just collapsed. So let's continue through here. As you can see, this whole place is completely trashed. So this place seems to be like a bit of a maze, there's just rooms upon rooms and corridors upon corridors. So I think I'm going to go back and continue this building. Then we'll come back through here and complete this side. I think that's probably the best way to do it. I'm going through into here now, which looks like another kitchen. Now, as far as I know, they, ha they had a lot of people on this site at one point. So feeding them would have been a bit of a task. Now this could have possibly been where they used to come and get their food, and then they would come back through here. And this would sort of be like the dining room area. So they would all sit in here and eat. I have actually heard that there's a dead rat that's in this whole site somewhere. And most of the time when people who come to do urban exploration, they move the rat to a different place and you have to try and find it. So hopefully we'll find that and uh, get a picture of that for you. Don't think I'll be touching it though. Now, unfortunately, all of the rooms in this first sort of cafeteria building, um, they're all pretty much just like this, ruined by moisture, nature's got in. Also the noise you can hear, by the way, there's actually workmen on the site. I think they're cutting the trees or something. So yeah, we need to try and avoid them as well. Now this is very cool, this is actually the bar, and as you can see it's got the shutters up, that's really cool. You don't see these kind of bars too often these days, really nice. This RAF base opened in 1937 as a result of the RAF's huge pre-war expansion program in response to Hitler's move to increase the strength of the German armed forces. So we're going into this second building now. Now then, this building that I'm in now, uh, from the outside, it actually says that this is block four, and this is the block for the airmen. I'm guessing that's just what they call the people who, like the pilots, the people who fly. I'm guessing, don't hold me to that. If you do know, let me know. See, so yeah, as soon as I came in this building, this is what I'm greeted with, these lovely stairs. And they just look really cool with the decay and everything. This place has been abandoned for a few years now, so it's like, it's starting to get to that point where nature is taking over and there's just nothing left. As you can see, every room is pretty much just the same. Which gets me onto something that I've had on a couple of videos where people have said they wish I had showed more rooms. This is why I don't show every single room. Because it's just empty. If there's something worth showing, then of course I will show it. But these, as you can see by the numbers on the doors, these were actually bedrooms. So this is number 27. Again, nothing. So we're actually in the toilets now. This is actually quite a long room. But yeah, as you can see, there are all the sinks and everything is smashed. Surprisingly though, there's still six mirrors on the wall which are in good condition. So I'm very close to the workman now, so I'm going to have to talk a little bit quieter. But I've came to the other side of the building now, and uh, it's exactly the same as the other side, so it's just flipped. So we've got the staircase here, we've got one set of bedrooms down there, and one set of bedrooms down here. So we'll go and check them out in case any of them have something in. So they're actually cutting the trees right outside this building. As you can see, all the bits of wood are flying in through the window. They're actually chopping the trees right outside this place. The workmen are out here, there's one there, and they've got all the machines here. So after an absolute mission of getting past those builders, um, I'm finally at like the main buildings now. That was hard work to get past them. There was a point where I was literally like 20 feet away from them, but because they had all the machines going, they didn't hear me and they were distracted, so I got around them. But yeah, we're at the main buildings now, so we're gonna check these out and then we'll check out the rest of the like rooms, like where they used to live, if we have time. The site started as a single grass runway and two hangars. In 1959, it became very quiet here. The only flying that happened here was the local University Air Squadron. 
The site was maintained as a flying school up until the early 90s when there was a brief usage for the RAF to introduce their new plane, the Tucano, which was a small two-seater trainer aircraft capable of travelling at speeds of over 300 miles per hour. So we've came in this one building and it's, it's quite a nice room this, I know it's obviously decayed and falling apart but the like scale of the room and this nice curtain to separate it, it's very nice. So this here looks like another serving area where they used to serve food and stuff like that. Oh yeah, here's another bar, but it looks like down here there's actually a stage, so they could have had like live entertainment, or I mean that's what this could have been, this could have been like the entertainment centre. You know, they would get live music on here, they would have all the seating and tables and everything, they've got the bar for drinks. For many years the base was actually home to an annual air display, an event which attracted crowds from all over the local area. It really did put this RAF base on the map. This unfortunately ended in 1994, but the memories still live on. So this is like another bar area, there's another bar here. So I don't know if this would be like a little private area, where they could maybe hold private functions, like little birthday parties, I don't know, something like that maybe. As you can probably tell, my knowledge on this place is very limited. So anything I am really saying at this point is uh, basically what I can see. You know, I'm sort of learning as we go around myself here. Now we're actually in another kitchen here. Um, I know it doesn't look like it because it's completely trashed. But uh, I can tell that by looking here. It looks like this was maybe a dishwasher or something like that. Which would explain the serving table in the entertainment room. Now this room is very interesting. I didn't know what this was and I still don't know for sure exactly what it was. But from looking at this here, this meter will take such and such. Only one coin will be accepted at a time. Each coin will give one half hour of light for 20 pence, not bad. But what is this? I think that this would have been a place where they would have played pool or snooker. And you know the light above the pool table? I'm guessing that that's what the light would have been for. And it would make sense to be in this building with the entertainment room. So I'm heading upstairs in this entertainment block. I'm interested to see what's up here. I'm guessing it's like another function room or something like that. So it doesn't look like too much. But that looks like an office. So maybe, maybe this was just like the office for maybe the entertainment department or something like that. Quite a few bits of interesting graffiti in here. Not the usual penis on the wall or anything like that. It's quite interesting, quite abstract. I've just seen exactly what these rooms are. Classrooms. Some more interesting graffiti in here. Now with this being classrooms upstairs, it does make me now wonder what this building actually is. Was this building an entertainment centre, or was it actually a place for the kids to go? I'm starting to lean more towards that. Because that would still make sense for the food section downstairs, because that's where they would have their lunch and their dinner. And the entertainment room as well, I suppose they could have entertainment here for the kids. So that does make me wonder, was this an entertainment centre for all of the staff? Or was this like a daycare centre for the kids? I would like to know, so if any of you guys actually worked here, then please do let me know what this building was actually used for. Or if you know somebody who used to work here, then make sure to show them the video. Anyways, let's carry on. We've got one more main building left to see, and then we'll take a look at a few of the bedroom buildings again. See if we can find anything interesting, and see if we can find that rat. The site then fell almost silent for the next 10 years, up until around 2003 when a new flying school took over and ran courses for the next 10 years. It was then announced in March 2013 that the site would close later that year, and the site closed its doors in December. So we came into what was, I think, the main building, and there's uh, this large room. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but every building I go in seems to have a place where you can eat. Now the reason I say that is because there's this down here, which is sort of like a food serving bar. But why is there so many food serving areas and dining rooms? That's where I can't seem to work out. But yeah, I like this one. I like the whole red streak down it. It's really nice. So we'll go through here, obviously, into the kitchen area. And it looks like there's actually still a few machines left in here. Wow. Damn, this is the most sort of clean area of this whole site that we've been to so far. You've still got all the ovens and everything. So cool, though, that all the machines are still here and they're not tipped over or anything like that. So in here it looks like another serving room, and through here it looks like another dining room. It doesn't make any sense. Whoa, what a cool room this is. Damn, that is nice. I love the whole sort of checkered floor they've got going on. There's an amazing echo. Fantastic, that's beautiful. After speaking to the workmen at the end of the day, I was able to find out that it's looking likely that they will be demolishing the site later this year. Okay, now that's creepy. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these. And I didn't think it would be creepy if I ever saw one. 
but now I've saw one, it's very, very creepy. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is actually what's called a satanic ritual. Now, I don't really know what it entails, but I know it's pretty creepy. And it also says in the dust here, stop. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so the last building that we are going into is the ground training school. So straight away we are greeted by this lovely big room. Now I'm guessing this was a classroom, obviously because this was the training school for the ground staff. So I'm guessing the main rooms in this place are just gonna be classrooms. Heading down here now. Okay, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> so obviously we've got this very long corridor. Now we will go and check it out down there, but I feel like first of all, we might as well complete this side of the building. So here we've got the female toilets. There's even actually like a shower in there as well. But yeah, nothing much to see. You know what a toilet is. Anyway, let's carry on. It's very hard to tell, obviously, because there's no artifacts left. These are literally just rotting rooms. But with this being the ground training school, you can tell that this is just going to be classrooms. So we're going to head upstairs now because there is, what, by the looks of it, three floors in this building. Not really too much in here. Another toilet again. We'll head up to this higher ground now because there's nothing really on this floor, just that toilet. Okay, so it's obviously just another classroom. Yeah, all that's really of any interest down here is this sort of workshop, but all that's left in here is just sort of the workbenches, there's some curtains over there. As you can see, the floor is starting to bulge up as well. But yeah, I think we'll head back out and call it a day. So I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I've actually really enjoyed this site. Now, despite it being pretty trashed, it's still been very interesting to see the things that are still here. All of the kitchens, the satanic ritual, the little things like that, it's just made this place worth it. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. But I'm gonna head out of here now. I need to get past them workmen again. Nightmare. If you are new around here, please do subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button below. And let me know your thoughts on this place. And if you have any information or anything like that, then please do leave it in the comments. Have a very good day and I'll see you next time. Peace.